Yo, what's up? This is Joshua Kastner. Welcome to a quick Ableton Live tip on how to save time. I've gone ahead and set up a template for a dry wet knob on the audio effects rack. And I forgot to show you guys how to do that too. And obviously it's up on the blog if you just want to go download it. But it's just a way to save time. So if I take right now this audio effects rack just right here in the default and drop it on here. My default is this uh, dry wet knob which goes through the channel selector. So over here it's completely wet signal. Over here it's completely dry signal and right here in the middle we're getting some parallel processing going on so I always have to do that on my racks so it's just good to have it as a default so I don't have to repeat those steps so I can keep going when I'm creative so I'm gonna show you how to make that right now you're just gonna go ahead and drag an audio effects rack and put it on the channel it's gonna look something like this you open this up to get the chain selector over here, right click inside, create chain, do that twice and then click the chain selector button it's gonna open this up and we're gonna take this line and bring it all the way over and this line and bring it all the way over and what we're gonna do now is over here instead of going to 127 we're gonna go to 126 and over here instead of starting at 0 we're gonna start at 1 and that way when the chain selector is all the way over to the left it's only getting dry signal no wet signal and over here when it's all the way at 127 it's getting no dry signal just wet signal and then there are two lanes here actually there's a top one and a bottom one if you hover towards the top you can click and drag and it's gonna drag out uh, this ramp and then you can do the same Oop. You can do the same here. You gotta get close to the top on these things and then just drag over and you're gonna get it ramped the other way. And that's the chain selection setup for the dry wet. So we're gonna just go ahead and rename this wet. We can go ahead and rename this dry. Great. And then the last thing we're gonna do is you can map this to macro. Go ahead and click on this little tab right here. If you click and drag, it will move. Right click, map to macro one. And now the chain selector is mapped. So it's essentially from dry to wet. So we can rename that dry, wet, cool. And the next thing you can do is just, the way I like to do it is I turn the hide off because I don't need to see that anymore and maybe color code these things, something like that. And then I do the save, and I've already saved it. And this will save you a preset, but if you want to get further into it, you can right click on the title and say save as default preset. And that will allow you to take this main device here and drop it on and it will look like this. But if you don't want to do that, if you still want to have your basic effects racks, maybe you don't have dry wet on every single rack and you don't want to have to be deleting things, you can just leave it as the, uh, use this to save it as a preset inside of the user library, okay? So anyway, I hope that helped you guys. I hope that saves you some time like it does for me and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.